Hi folks and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. We're lucky enough to be looking at a one owner. 2003 Larson 310. Beautiful condition inside and out. Always lift stored. Freshwater river. Fully loaded. Every single option available from the manufacturer when purchased. Upgraded high output Volvo Penta 5.7 liter. Those are pushing out 320 horsepower each. Beautiful stainless steel bow rail. There's a full Isinglass and camper screen enclosure. Got your remote spotlight up front. Maxwell remote operated anchor windlass. You'll see in the photos online there's a full bow cushion as well that snaps on in that area. Got AC running at the moment, cooling everything off inside. This thing is fast. With the conic hull design, it increases fuel efficiency and decreases drag. Nice radar arch, 24 nautical mile radar capability. The integrated swim platform is including some dinghy davit brackets for mounting on if you want to bring a dinghy with you. Easy in and out water access with the four step telescoping swim ladder. Exhaust flush out, hot and cold water shower, stereo remote at the rear. Nice size transom storage box. Keeps all your dock lines, shore power cable out of the way. You got TV and phone hookup as well. Absolutely love the deck layout. Plenty of seating. This thing's yacht certified, so bring the whole crew with you. Nice high gunnels for safety in mind. Walk through transom door. Easy in and out access to the water while keeping everyone safe too. Battery switch and fire extinguisher. They've done some additions with lighting where there's underwater LED lights, you got courtesy lights, and then some lighting up on the arch. They're white and red for night cruising. On deck freshwater sink, refrigerator and freezer. And if you wanna have your blender out here, go ahead and plug it on in. Really nice Clarion stereo system. Subwoofer under those seats. You can see the rear facing window for the mid cabin. All this upholstery is original. Beautiful, beautiful shape. Normally stored with a cockpit cover on and in the shade. On deck table, you can pull it out. If you want to do any fishing from the rear, this uh, transom bench seat with storage box underneath it is also removable. Nice port side lounger, storage underneath it. Got some molded in steps, get you up to the bow area for relaxing. Love the helm layout. This is made for a captain to enjoy. Thigh rise bolster flips up. The seat actually slides forward and backwards. You got tilt steering wheel, radar system, through hole transducer on the fish finder, and then Raymarine's autopilot system as well. The trim tabs have their indicator plates. Really nice gauge layout. And hours are showing 176 on port and 175 on starboard. VHF, all your accessory switches, and then your windless remote as well. Screen door pulls across, lets through a nice cross breeze. Check out the interior. Beautiful fit and finish. Nice maple wood, carpet throughout, all the upholstery is in excellent condition. Onboard head, mid cabin. They've got the backrests for those, but what they've done is pull out. This is their favorite place to sleep, so they had a custom mattress made. You can see all the fill-in cushions. If you want to pull these out, you've got a second lounge area back here. Really utilize the full volume of the mid cabin area though. Privacy curtain for that. 
some storage lighted keep all your kitchen supplies out of the way breaker panel all those switches generator start AC control love the galley layout plenty of storage up top and underneath two burner hot plate stove top nice size sink amplifier for your stereo system and then all the Ray Marine electronics too Origo microwave black and decker coffee maker extra air vents been put in here really allow great output of the air conditioning system oversized refrigeration keeping all of those drinks and food cold on those longer trips with that screen door open if you don't want to have the AC running or generator running you can open up all these hatches they've got their own screens and for those hotter days you can put those in behind the screens love the seating area forward you got your stereo system and DVD player which is connected to the FlexVision television really clean upholstery now this table removes yeah, you put a filler cushion, I think you saw it back there. So this creates a second sleeping berth, but then you don't take away from your seating area or dinette. Storage under all these. Headliner looks great. And onboard head, some mirrors open up the look in there. Simple foot pedal operation, toilet, and storage above and below the sink, and hot and cold water shower. This is home away from home. Get you out on the open water and having fun. Let's go ahead and open up the engine compartment and take a look at these powerhouses. All right. Engine hatch opened. Check out these powerhouses. Twin, high output, 5.7 liter. Volvo Pentas, 176 original hours by the original owner. Always love to see that. These are different from your normal 5.7 as they're each outputting 320 horsepower. Made for when you need to get up, but still fuel efficient and great power and torque with the duo prop design. See two extra AGM house batteries, your water heater, and your Kohler 5KW generator. Now the motors have just had a bunch of work put in risers and manifolds have been replaced on both so have both starters and alternators as well as the raw water pumps on each and the serpentine belts as well as the power steering pump and the ram on the rear portion of the transom was also serviced I'm gonna go ahead and start up each one let you hear them purr away Kill switch on starboard. Yeah. All right. Crank it up. Sound really nice at idle. If you got it in neutral, could you rev them up a little bit? Either or. Sounds great. So what's your most efficient cruising speed? About 36 miles per hour or not? Miles per hour and then top end? 55, okay. Have you ever uh, calculated your gallon per hour at first? Or total range in normal conditions? Two miles per gallon? Cool. They sound great, you can go ahead and set them down. 